The key to drawing deranged is, uh, I think it just comes from some place inside of me. <laughs> so, whatever that means. Hi, I'm Ryan Stegman, and today I'm going to be drawing Carnage. When it comes to drawing, I have done it my whole life. My older sister, she was really into drawing. And I think maybe it was a way of like getting her attention. My dad would get this dot matrix printer paper that it's all connected. And we would draw, unravel, draw, you know, and you just have, and it would just snake all around the house. And my mom would wake up and it would be all over the family room. There would just be drawings on each individual thing. So it's just always been a passion of mine. I would post stuff on message boards and get feedback. I uh, had a guy who was interested in working with me named Tony Lee. He asked me if I wanted to draw the script. I read it, I liked it. So I finished that one and I got this next job because I had a calling card now, you know, here's my book. And then Marvel bought that company. I suddenly had Marvel editors. Mark Panicci was my editor. And he finally gave me a break doing Incredible Hercules. Been with Marvel ever since. What drew me to Spider-Man was something about his design. I think it's the best design ever in comics. You've now got a guy that looks like Spider-Man, but he's got these tendrils flying everywhere and he's got big black teeth. It's like a terrifying version of Spider-Man. I just started sketching, you know, in the lower portion of the page. I did a little tiny sketch of what I wanted to do. And then I took that little tiny thumbnail and just started sketching it on the larger sheet. I have to do with a small drawing first. I can't just start drawing and hope that it works out because then you're gonna end up redrawing a limb a million times and everything. Because you can also do this thing that I used to do when I was younger, which was not put enough information. I'd be like, I can't figure that out, but I'll figure it out in the final drawing, you know. But that's never the right answer. The right answer is to have it figured out then to go to the final drawing. After the sketch, I draw it larger, but it's very loose. So I just start filling in the black areas and I just build my way up through the figure, make sure that the whole thing has a three dimensionality to it. I love things that convey movement. So if they have something like tendrils or, you know, hair, I always am gonna accentuate that because I want that part of the motion to read on the final image. The event is called Absolute Carnage. Any character who has ever worn the symbiote, Carnage has to round them up and get the codex out of their bodies. Nobody's safe, including dead people. It's crazy. If you look at all the great events that Marvel's done in the past, I don't think there's really been one that you would necessarily tab as the horror event. I think that the tone of it is gonna be completely different and also really fresh. Fans love Venom, they love Carnage, and we're gonna give them more depth and flesh them out more, and uh, I think that any fan of those characters will really dig this. I have a seven-year-old and a four-year-old. They love Venom, but I had to tell my seven-year-old, mm, it's probably too scary for you. I don't want you, you know, getting out of bed and in the middle of the night and being like, Venom's in my dreams or whatever. 